Hey guys, Colson here and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda DX. We came by colour last time we... Uh, what did we pick up last time? We picked up the Eagle Key. And, um, well now we'll be heading towards Eagle Tower, the 7th dungeon. I almost said 7th and final then, but it's, it ain't final. It ain't the final dungeon by a long shot, but we're getting there. We are getting through this game. That wall is bombable, isn't it? It is bombable. I knew that wall was bombable. Where's this take us? Ow! Oh, this takes us up to the... Up. Yeah. I know where this takes us. I, and, whoa! Yeah. Now, don't be tricked here. Oh. Hmm. I thought they were all full of bad guys. Maybe they are. Some are full of bad guys. But if you go up there and take this one... Die! You get some more rupees. Again, I'm just showing this off because I don't need the rupees. You may need the rupees. I don't need the rupees. As I'm on the maxed out. See, as you can see, all the chests are now empty. So I think all the others had enemies in, if I remember correctly, except for that one. Unless I'm completely wrong and I just missed out on a lot of rupees, and so will you. But anyway, you, you, yeah, you're gonna move. Ever see a skull in its own? No. So this is the way we head to Eagle's Tower. It's a set of very, very linear caves. Anyone who knows, anyone who's been playing the game anyway, will probably just know what to do. Just up along. The rooster is still following, but as soon as you enter the dungeon, he'll vanish. Oh, maybe it's not as soon as you enter the dungeon. God damn it, piece of power. It's, um, maybe not as soon as you enter the dungeon, but I think after you complete the dungeon, he vanishes. Not, it's not like uh, Bow Wow, you know, Chain Chomp. This, this guy actually has to, oh god. Yeah, you can't actually float over areas off, off to another screen, so that's not the way you go. This is the way you go, and we hook shot. Hook my shot. There we go, there we go. And done. Alright. Almost there. That's... Ooh, actually. Ooh, ow, ow. I think that's a fairy. I think I'll use that. I think it's a fairy. My my memory is vague of this part of the game because I just flew through it. You, you do pretty enough, and you pretty much do fly through this part of the game. It's just like, literally, it's, yeah, it's a fairy. It's like two dungeons between you and the final boss and... They're, they're, all like, they're quite long and difficult dungeons, so you've got to be a little bit careful, but they're not too bad. You know, there's been... Oh, God damn it, already down half a heart. There are worse dungeons in Zelda games that have been before, so... So like everyone everyone goes on about Ocarina of Time and the Water Temple. I never had any trouble with the Water Temple. Unless I'm one of those, you know, weird people that are just too good at Gideon games. I, I, I just never had... Never had any trouble at all. But, uh, anyway, in goes the key. And round spins the tower. You know, it's the entrance to. Dun, 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 level. Get in. Level 7. Eagle's Tower. So this is. Uh, this is quite an interesting dungeon. I'll, I must. Whoa. I must say. Um, the. Lots, I guess the the key to finishing this dungeon is using a massive ball. Yes, key, key me. Using a massive ball to uh, to get to merge two floors together of the dungeon. I know that's that's weird, right? God damn it. There is a way. Uh, that's the mirror shield there, but you've got to hit that. I think there is a way to trick the boomerang into getting it. But screw that. So here it is. This is the ball. Uh, I think you need the power bracelet to quickly pick it up. Uh, so what you want to do is cast it against this wall over here, and then pull open the door again. Now this ball, we have to use this ball to knock down four pillars throughout the dungeon. Uh, figuring out this as a kid was tough. Whoa, straight through there. So there, there's the first one. You can also use it to kill enemies. Or completely miss what you're trying to hit. Uh, oh, come on. Right there. So you, the aim is to hit all four of these pillars in order to drop um, the floor down. Uh, yeah, let's leave you here. Oh god, damn, we gotta get these guys on heads. See, they're just so annoying. I tell you what, I'm gonna get rid of this bubble. This bubble's, this bubble's getting in my, getting on my wick. Yeah, you take that bubble. See, if you have the boomerang, you have to deal with that for all the time. It's just so annoying. But anyway, at last you got the map. Press the start button to look at it. Uh, I'm good. 
I'm good. Uh, let's get the sword back equipped. The boomerang sometimes is very effective. Here's the map actually, look. You'll see that there's uh, two floors. They actually end up merging towards the end. So, um... Oh, what do I do here? I think... Get out of my way. I think I throw that across there. And I... The only way is down! Oh, god damn it. But, um... You can see you got Kirby lookalikes, you got bridges, you got everything. This dungeon, oh god damn it! This dungeon very confusing, very confusing indeed. Whoa, 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 whoa! I tell you what, I need to do. I'm gonna hit this switch. Oh, I guess I have to use something boomerangish to hit this switch. Okay. Now hitting this switch opens up. Oh, the boomerang hurts that thing. Oh, lasers everywhere. Uh, these guys don't give out fairies, only the other ones give out fairies. Oh, throwing it across there, I think I didn't need to... Oh no, no that's okay, that'll do. I can, I can jump across that. And uh, re-equip. God damn it, it's so annoying to de-equip and re-equip. And... That way. Oh, come on. Oh, that's alright. Just have to go pick it up again. This can be the... You know, what? Ugh, this can be the annoying bit, you have to like leave the floor and come back and all that jazz and it's just getting annoying with the light lights running around, with the Kirby lookalikes running around. And, ugh, it's not a good day here in England either, it's a bit muggy and warm and disgustingly warm. Why aren't you respawning? Why isn't it respawning? I'm really confused. Unless it... There you go. Now, now, now I think it's permanently gone. Let's take a look around here, actually, before we take that. As you can see down here, we've got another one of those thingy bobs we can hit. Which might be nice for later on, but for now we're okay. So now it's falling down. Are we good now? Yes, there we go. You've respawned now. Great stuff. This dungeon is going to take me a while, folks. This dungeon is going to take me a while. I'm, I'm looking at three videos, probably. Three videos. Maybe three videos. This dungeon. Right, come on, open. Right there, let's run, 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 leg it, leg it, leg it, just through. So now with this down, we can walk through and take out the pillar. Boom, 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 boom. So now I think I'm going to throw the pillar out here. So the pillar, the ball out there, so it's accessible from another way. We need to get it over there eventually, but like I said, actually, was I meant to bring it up here? I was meant to bring it up there. Uh, God damn it. Let's get these guys. I don't think we've seen these guys in a while. If you remember, you have to sort of stun them on their, uh, all, oh, God damn it. All at the same thing. So it's club hat, club hat. There we go. If you stun them all in the same... Thing you can get whatever, and we get the compass. And I can see where the chest and nightmare are hidden. Yes, we get it. It's it has a new feature. God, I'm glad to see the back of that. I'm in, a, I'm in a, a, a mood, not a mood today. A, 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 oh, I can't see the it really is me. You can't jump up on them, but anyway. Gumbers in the 3D plane, and a dead end. We are in an end of dead. Let's go this way. Round Kirby. It really. <laughs> Why is Kirby here? Why is Kirby here? Uh, what's down? Nothing. What's up. Cross. Nothing. It's got this staircase. And there's the fourth pillar, which is really hard to get to. I couldn't work out how to get to that. This place, this boss is hard. Oh, unless you catch him like that in a corner. That was nice. That was nice. I like that. Yeah. That's not the minibus, though. They, that guy's just a normal enemy now. So, you know, Zelda has a habit of doing that. Am I? And... Nope. We need... We actually do need this chest now to finish the, the puzzle of this dungeon. There we go. And with that, get that chest to appear. But we can't get to that yet. Aha! And by the ball. Right. Die. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll get this pillar now. 
while I'm here, may as well. It's the hardest pillar to get, and it took me forever as a kid to work out. Right, dodge, dodge, dodge. Let's go through here. To get one of these guys. And a bubble. Which is now going to die, bubble. Yeah, so it, as, as, as it was in the fish, uh, 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 fish shrine, you swing your sword and you should be able to catch all of them. This corner's quite a nice corner. If you fall down these holes, though, you, don't, you, you actually walk down to the bottom floor, so try not to fall down the holes, he says as he jumps beautifully. Right, okay, so there's the, there's the third pillar, which we'd be able to get now pretty easily. If, uh, but then again, we won't be able to get the other one. Either way, I think you have to go the long way around to get the other pillars, so let's go get this pillar first. Come on. Boom. And so with that out of the way, and that chest there, that means we can hook shot. And once we get across here, oh, we may as well open the chest and get some... You got a bomb! Way to go! Yay! Bomb! Okay, so let's help that. Take care of that pillar. I don't know why this puzzle took me so long to work out as a kid, it's not that difficult. So watch that fall in, so reset that up. Uh, should I just walk back to the entrance? <sighs> nah, let's walk it. We'll walk back to it. We'll, we'll, we'll walk it from here. Oh. Why do you need to walk when you can just fall through a goddamn... Well, is that quick? Fall through a goddamn floor. Right, okay. So... We could go get that chest. Let's go get that chest. Let's go get that chest and that'll round out the episode, so come on. Like I say, I like getting all the chests. Chests. I don't know why I'm hoping. So, what what does going around this way actually take us to? I think I probably should do Oh, ow, ow. Yeah, so here. Drop a heart. No, okay. Use my boomerang. If you use a boomerang on that, that lowers these, so... Ooh. I do have a small key. Let's, let's use that. Aha! Let's get the mirror shield. Yeah, this is it. You got the mirror shield. You can now turn back the beams you couldn't block before. You actually need that. That's the mandatory um, item for. What's the word I'm looking for? It's a mandatory item for the wrong door for getting to Turtle Rock. There, 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 there. Mandatory for getting to Turtle Rock, yeah. I'm gonna stay, stand by that. Right, so let's take these stairs down and get it to the chest. Oh, I forgot we... Uh, we have to fall through the god... Let's fall through the floor. This ain't gonna work either, is it? Grrr. So this is where this dungeon... Switches, switches, I tell you. These switches, pain in the behind. Pain in the behind. I think the switches are... Set to how they were. Ow! I'm taking damage. I think this switch is set to how it was uh, originally when we first started. Yes, they are when we first started the dungeon. So at least we can use this to get back to the ball. So we'll put, I'll probably end this episode up here. So thanks for watching. Next time we'll get another pillar. Uh, it's been called today. Catch you on the flip side.